So, Dustin, what would you say are the basics or the foundations that someone needs to have to witness to someone who isn't saved? Well, I would definitely have to say love. That's the easiest thing to do. That's the easiest thing to understand. If you have love in your heart, you will treat whoever you're talking to, no matter who they are. You treat them with respect. You listen to them. You try to understand them. If, uh, if you listen to them, you will hear where they come from. A lot of people don't come from God, godly backgrounds. Uh, they weren't taught that way. They know no better. Um, just, just show them love. That's the main thing. And when you listen to them, they may tell you things. And you can find out they have incomplete knowledge. And that's where you can fill in some blanks. What would you tell people if they've never approached someone to witness to them and they're really nervous? How would you give them advice to go about witnessing to someone? It's a matter of outweighing what's, what's more important. Yeah, you know, it's, it could be, if we're talking about total strangers now, it's like, yeah, these are total strangers. But, um, you know, I made fun of the first few people that came and witnessed to me. Look at me now. Um, you have to figure, yeah, I don't want the discomfort of, you know, setting myself up for rejection, but it's not really you they're rejecting. Um, do you, do you want them to go to hell, you know, or what if, what if somebody was actually praying for them, a relative, and, uh, you're that one person. If it's somebody that you know, just a lot of times you can ask it without being, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Intrusive. Sometimes, you know, the, the way we, we pose a question, it's just like, so where, where are you with God? You know, a lot of times that's a good question to ask, but um, just, just make sure you're not overly intrusive with it. Um, people can be defensive about that sometimes. What are your final thoughts for encouraging someone or giving them advice on witnessing? Well, people really don't reject God. Even though they think they do, they don't. A lot of times what you'll find is they reject the people that represent God because um, you watch enough TV, you see Christians, they used to be the good guys and now they're the bad guys. They're the, the televangelist or the pedophile on TV and the priesthood or they're, you know, they, they just bring down this like total sense of like what a bummer to be a Christian because it's like sour rules and all these things and that's, that's really not the case. So they reject that. But, um... Knowing that there's a God in heaven that loves them, that they're kind of cool with. And that's where we bring in the truth.